Ladies and gentlemen, it's currently uh, quarter past 12 at night. I'm sorry that this vlog hasn't gone up. It's probably going to be about 1am, half 1 before this vlog goes up. I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't expect today to go as bad as it did. And kind of editing the vlog just escaped me. Uh, but I've got that done now, guys. So hopefully you all enjoy. I'm really sorry. Uh, but enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another daily vlog. Uh, today is Sunday I believe. Um, I was just organising Oliver's clothes to get him changed in some new clothes this morning. And he decided he's going to roll over. Um, so yeah, he's currently trying to lick my living room floor right now. Which is not a good thing because it needs hoovering. But he rolled himself over um, so I'm so stoked. So yeah, I'm going to put something underneath him and he can have a little bit of tummy time before I get him dressed. So yeah. What are we doing? Cheeky chops. You rolling over? Eh? Eh? You rolling over? You're a good boy, aren't you? Eh? So he seems to be in a roly poly mood today, so he keeps rolling onto his belly. Um. I did have toys next to him, and he must have just rolled to get the toy. The carpet needs over in Dubai, man. I've got cats. So, yeah, uh, rather poly mood today by the looks of things. So, guys, it's uh, the afternoon now. Um, Oliver's been asleep for a little while. Uh, I've just got Sean up um, and his Uncle Brett. Well, his great Uncle Brett is on the way to uh, pick him up. So, yeah, that'll be soon. And then I'm going to hopefully get this house started again because it's always a mess. Um, I don't know how it gets such a mess. I sit in one place. I have one thing, maybe a few. And then, um, yeah, maybe that's why it's a mess because I don't exactly put it away. But hey, it's fine. I had a busy day yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so yeah. You're, you're telling me with my freezy air and that, yeah? That, that you've we've got. in bed all day and I've logged it, yeah? Yeah, and we've got some super high level tactics, yeah? Boom, boom. <laughs> you have to try Auntie Emma's today. Auntie Emma. Off to see Auntie Emma. So the weather this morning was actually quite nice. Um, Sean is streaming right now, if you can't hear him. Um, and now the weather has changed. It's now. I'm gonna kill Sean. Anyways, uh, it's now absolutely pissing it down. Um, it's been hailstone, and uh, I've got a feeling we're gonna get a storm, but I'm not quite sure. OMG, I'm glad I'm not stood outside because there is a right pillar going all the way down the hill, um, and cars going past is making it go all the way over our drive. So, yes, I'm glad I'm inside. The clip I'm about to show you was nearly a year ago in two days on the 19th of this month this will have been a year Yo, what's up everyone this is a different kind of intro to the uh, video today uh, rude it's, awakening. it's a rude awakening <laughs> well i don't want to say rude awakening but well it's not but it is <laughs> it's a it's a troubling awakening this morning uh i got some bad news about my mum so I'm going to head down to see my nana and sit with her while my mum has to go to the big hospital um, to make sure everything's all right. Yeah. Uh, it's, all I know right now is it's something to do with your heart. This is this is take two. I, I messed up the first time recording this, so we're going to try this again. Um, the clip I've shown you guys just then was just under a year ago. Uh, on the 19th of May 2020, my mum had a heart attack and was in hospital, I believe, for four days, I believe, three days, two, two, three, day, two three days. I'm not quite sure, um, but she were in hospital. And, you know, you look at odds when it comes to something to do with the heart and it's usually never a good thing. But now my mum's made it a year took all the disgusting tablets that they decided to throw, managed to see the birth of their first grandchild, uh, 
and she'll be here to see the birth of her second grandchild in November of this year because that is a given that my mum's a fighter and she she will carry on she will carry on um, I'm making this video because tomorrow which today the day you're watching this uh, my mum's going for an angiogram and stents placing in her heart I believe obviously if they find something that they shouldn't then they might change that it's not a given um but from what she's been told from what she's told me it's kind of a given at the same time but that's all up to doctors and stuff like that but she's uh she's gonna be in hospital tomorrow today for you guys um and i made a video just as i said just under a year ago i made a video of the worst news of my life um I didn't know what was wrong with my mum. I didn't know anything. They didn't know anything. And she had to go to hospital. Um, and it was hard. It was really, really hard. It's something that I never, ever, ever wanted. I didn't want my mum to ever have to go to hospital for anything than a broken bone, if possible. You know. And sadly, she had to go to hospital. But she made it out. As I said, she managed so many achievements. Especially with something wrong with your heart, which is usually never a good thing. Um, it's still not a good thing, you know, things wrong with your heart is not a good thing. Um, but she, she made it a year, and now she's got a grandson to seven month old. And now they're progressing, I believe, from what I know, um, they're progressing in the right direction. And it's the best direction for my mum. And anything they can do to prolong my mum's life to make her life as long as humanly possible, then then I'm fine with that. And hopefully my hopeful mum is too, because you know, going along with it, she she kinda doesn't seem like she's got much choice. And then at the other time she's going along with it, it's it's good. And I know she's scared. I'm making this video because when this premieres at six PM tomorrow for me, when you're watching this right now, I know my mum will get a notification. And I know that she will see that I am wishing her good luck. As you see by the title of this video, it's good luck, mum. I am wishing my mum good luck because I love my mum. And I think it will be a nice surprise for her to be able to see to see this video. Because memorialising, memorialising, I don't know if I said that right. Making a memory like this, right? Uh, making a video that's going to be there for another year. My mum can look back in a year's time when she has two grandchildren, a 22-year-old son, which is weird to say, and I hope I'm not making him feel too old, uh, making myself feel old, saying, you know, two children for myself. Um, but she's got that video to look back on a year ago of where she's come to now, and the fact that she she's still here. Um, you know, sadly, a lot of people don't get to live through a cardiac event. And a lot of people don't get to live through heart problems. But my mum actually has, the, as I said, progressing in the right direction. And I can't wait to see in a year's time the video I'm making. I just, I hope that what they're doing helps her as much as they think it's going to. So that's why this video, guys, I'm saying good luck, mum. Oliver loves you. I love you. Courtney loves you in her own way. <laughs> Leon definitely loves you. And my nana loves you as well. So that's my message to you, Mum, when you watch this. Um, and also, I can't wait to look back in a year's time to future me. Shave the damn beard, boy. I, I, I need to get rid of this. I really do. So this is a, a video to the future and a good look to my mum. In a year's time when me and my mum get to sit down and look back on this and I'm going to record her reaction when she gets out of the hospital and hopefully feels better uh, to us watching that video a year ago, which will ho hopefully by then be over a year. Um, I can't wait to see my mum's reaction to that video. My reaction. I, she watched the vlog, I believe, but to look at the way we were feeling then, to look at the way we're feeling now, which is more hopeful and then in a year's time to hopefully have a lot of her problems solved and be able to look to more, to even more of a future with her grandchildren. You know, things like this when it comes to the heart are always unpredictable and they're always a bit weird. Um, 
so this video really just sets in stone the future that we can have as family and I keep rubbing my hands together a lot. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see where you are in a year, Mum. So, good luck, and I'm going to wrap this up. I'll see you soon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. So, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button. Double dink that like button. Leave a comment down below on what you think. And if you want to leave any good any good comments from Mum, then feel free. She'd love to read them. So, thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell, and we'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Peace.